calculate the room temperature paramagnetic susceptibility of an ideal gas in which each atom has J equals 1, the total angular momentum quantum number is 1, and G, the lambda factor, equals 2. Remember the ideal gas law, PV equals nRT, and these are in fact the values of J and G for molecular oxygen. Note that your answer is small and positive. So we're going to start with recalling our Langevin localized moment model. So from the Langevin localized moment model, uh, remember that the magnetization was given as a function of uh, temperature, the number of atoms per volume, capital N, magnetic moment per atom M times the Langevin function. So this capital N is the atomic number density, which is number of atoms per volume. And the magnetic moment m per atom and the Langevin function uh, which is the function of temperature is cotangent hyperbolic alpha minus 1 over alpha so in CGS units this alpha is given as m times uh, the magnetic field H divided by thermal energy KBT. And the Langevin function for typical values of alpha, th those are small values, so in the vicinity of zero, behaves as 1 over alpha plus alpha over 3, that comes from the Taylor series expansion of cotangent hyperbolic, minus 1 over alpha, so it, the approximate behavior is linear with alpha, alpha over 3. So we see that the magnetization in SI units uh, can be written as capital N M times MH over 3 KBT, which is alpha over 3. So this will correspond to uh, capital N M square over 3 kbt multiplied with h so we can read the susceptibility here as a capital n m square divided by 3 kbt and therefore uh, when we go to the si unit system uh, we have to replace the alpha with mu zero m h over k b t and this will give us a magnetization mu zero capital n m square h over three k b t and the chi value for the SI system will be mu zero capital N M square over 3 KB T. So this is our SI result. Now at this point, you see that the CGS result is multiplied by mu zero to get the SI result. And this may be confusing because we have seen previously that in order to get the CGS susceptibility conversion to SI, we need to multiply it by 4 pi. So why is it 4 pi 10 to minus 7 instead of 4 pi in this case? Uh, let's figure that out. So let's give some numbers here. If the number of atoms per volume is one atom per uh, centimeter cube, this would correspond to 10 to 6 atoms per meter cube. The magnetic moment per atom, let's say, is 1 Bohr magneton. 1 Bohr magneton is 9.274 10 to minus 21 ergs per gauss. 
or in SI system it is 9.274 times 10 to minus 24 joules per Tesla. The thermal energy KBT let's say is 1 erg and that would correspond to 10 to minus 7 joules. So if I calculate the CGS susceptibility capital N M square so that is 1 multiplied with Bohr magneton square 9.274 10 to minus 20 font square over 3 kbt because kbt is 1 erg it's just 3 so this gives me um, 9.274 squared 10 to minus 42 divided by 3 now I know that the susceptibility in SI should be 4 pi times the susceptibility in CGS. So uh, with that, I can multiply this by 4 pi. It's 4 pi times 10 to minus 42, 9.274 square divided by 3. So this result is indeed correct. But let's see what I should multiply my um, SI, uh, the expression that I have here, if I use these SI unit uh, values for uh, different quantities here. So let's say that I have a conversion factor alpha here. Alpha times, um, you can see it's capital N. Capital N is 10 to 6 atoms per meter cube m square Bohr magneton square so it's 9.274 square 10 to minus 48 joules per tesla joules per tesla squared of course and three times one erg is three times 10 to minus seven joules now uh, you can see that um, the trees will cancel uh, 9.274 squares will cancel. 10 to 6 times 10 to minus uh, 42 will make uh, 10 to minus 42. Okay. And 10 to minus 42s will uh, cancel. So you will see that we need a value of alpha, which is 4 pi times 10 to minus 7. So this actually is mu zero. So it's the uh, mu zero equals 4 pi 10 to minus 7 Henry per meter. So you can see that uh, the susceptibility in SI is 4 pi times the susceptibility in CGS, the numerical value here. But if you use the um, energy, thermal energy uh, in SI using joules instead of ergs, we have this additional 10 to minus 7 factor. So this comes from the fact that the temperature T uh, is basically in Kelvin in both of these uh, uh, unit scales. So uh, our previous result holds the numerical value of uh, the SI susceptibility is 4 pi times the numerical value of CGS susceptibility. But uh, we have to be careful with these uh, numbers that we put here. So you can see that uh, if you have uh, the energy involved uh, in your susceptibility calculation, um, when you do this uh, calculation in terms of an M square and 3 kBT, you actually need to have an alpha of 4 pi uh, 10 to minus 7, so which is mu zero, in order to get the right number in SI uh, units. Okay, so I think this solves the mystery here. So now we want to use the quantum treatment. So however, we know that uh, when we use the Brillouin function instead of the Langevin function, the quantum treatment replaces the magnetic moment per atom m with the effective magnetic moment per atom which is 
the lambda factor g square root j j plus 1 times the Bohr magneton. Okay? And uh, you can see that when this j is very large, this would become g times uh, j, uh, so it would be g j uh, Bohr magneton in the uh, classical uh, limit here. So this would be g j Bohr magneton. Okay, so that gives us a susceptibility chi, which is... Now I'm working in SI units, so I need a mu zero here. Mu zero n, m effective squared, which is g squared, j, j plus one, Bohr magneton squared, divided by three kBT. So here I put j is equal to one, g is equal to two, and mu zero is equal to four pi, 10 to minus seven, Henry per meter. The Boltzmann constant Kb is 1.38 times 10 to minus 23 joules per Kelvin. The Bohr magneton is 9.274 times 10 to minus 24 joules per Tesla. And we're working at room temperature. So we, when you plug in all of these numbers, you will obtain 6.9 times 10 to minus 32 times capital N, which is the number of atoms per volume. Okay, so that's what I have to figure out now. Using the ideal gas law, PV, uh, pressure times volume is number of moles times universal gas constant times uh, the absolute temperature. When the pressure is one atmosphere, that is 1.01 10 to 5 uh, pascals, the SI unit. The universal gas constant is 8.3 joules per uh, mole Kelvin. The temperature is 300 Kelvin. And let's say the volume is one meter cube. And I have one mole of ideal gas. So for one mole, I have uh, the number of moles is equal to PV divided by RT. And that would correspond to 6.02 times 10 to 23 atoms. So that is basically Avogadro's number and sub A. And the number of moles is... Uh, basically, the number of atoms per volume, capital N, multiplied with the volume, so that, that's the total number of atoms, divided by Avogadro's number. So this is number of atoms. So that's number of atoms written in units of Avogadro's number and sub A. So uh, if I substitute that here, and V over... Avogadro's number and A is equal to PV over RT. You can see the volumes uh, will cancel. You will get the number of atoms per volume, capital N, to be equal to pressure times Avogadro's number divided by universal gas constant times T. So the pressure is one atmosphere, 1.01, 10 to 5 pascals. Avogadro's number, 6.02, 10 to 23, divided by universal gas constant, 8.3 times 300 Kelvin. So this gives us 2.4, 2 10 to 25. 10 to 25 atoms per meter cube. So we can plug that in into our susceptibility. Susceptibility was 6.9 times 10 to minus 32 N, which is now 2.4, 10 to 25. 
So we obtain a paramagnetic susceptibility 1.6 10 to minus 6, which is positive and very small. So it was mentioned that these numbers basically match that of molecular oxygen. Okay, so to summarize, we're looking at the room temperature paramagnetic susceptibility of an ideal gas. And uh, we are using the ideal gas law in order to calculate number of atoms per volume. And we, we know that each atom has J equals 1 and G is equal to 2, which are the values for molecular oxygen. So we should get a very small and positive susceptibility, paramagnetic susceptibility. Okay, so the Langevin localized moment tells us the magnetization is magnetic uh, number of atoms per volume, magnetic moment per atom times Langevin function, where the Langevin function cotangent hyperbolic alpha minus 1 over alpha is replaced with alpha over 3 for small alpha, where alpha is mh over kbt. In order to go from this result that we obtain in CGS to SI, we have to multiply this by, by mu0 to get it numerically correct. And here I have shown you why mu0. Uh, the, actually, its SI susceptibility is 4 pi times the CGS susceptibility. So when you calculate the number, this is what you should get. But if you use uh, the number of atoms per volume in and atoms per meter cube, magnetic moment in joules per tesla and kbt in joules instead of ergs, you basically see that you, the, you have to multiply uh, the formula with alpha, where alpha is 4 pi times 10 to minus 7 in order to get 4 pi times chi cgs. So, um, so in this case, we need a mu zero uh, factor. So when we use the quantum treatment, we have to replace this M with M effective. So in the SI calculation, and where M effective is G square root JJ plus one Bohr magneton. And uh, by plugging in the numbers uh, for the uh, constants here, uh, we, and temperature is room temperature 300 Kelvin, we obtain 6.9 10 to minus 32 times the number of atoms per volume for the susceptibility. Then we go to ideal gas law, PV equals nRT. And let's say we have one atmosphere, uh, R is a constant, temperature is 300 Kelvin, one meter cube volume and one mole of gas. So this tells us that the number of moles is number of atoms per Avogadro's number, that is total number of atoms per volume multiplied by volume. This is equal to PV over RT. So we obtain our uh, atomic number density as the pressure times Avogadro's number divided by universal gas constant R times absolute temperature T. And the number that we obtain, we can plug into our result here. And we indeed obtain a very small 1.6 10 to minus 6 and positive paramagnetic susceptibility for uh, this case.